Teddy Feinberg uh, here once again. I came from this room last weekend, and I'm coming from it again. This is in the room in the ID press box, in case if anyone's wondering or can't remember that. That fun fact coming at you after the Aggies 35-14 loss to Texas San Antonio. This is bad. I mean, the Aggies are not a good football team. I said it last week. I'm going to say it again. They, they just aren't. And I'm not trying to be rude. I'm not trying to be ignorant. I'm just trying to state the facts. Um, obviously, this goes out being said. They weren't even competitive tonight with UTSA. Um, felt like a key play in the game, obviously, was Austin Franklin's Muff punt early. You no, know, the Aggies were actually up seven to nothing in this football game, um, and UTSA punted. And Austin came up and tried to field a slow roller on the punt. You never really want to do pitch, try to pick up a slow roller because there's going to be other players around. And UTSA pounced and they quickly scored a TD and made it seven seven. But a good football team recovers from that. The point is this: the Aggies are under a ton of pressure right now. We knew. You know, I had a bad feeling going into the evening. I mean, I knew that UTSA was going to come in loose and confident. They were 4-0. and They didn't really beat anybody to start the year. But with that being said, an undefeated team, they're playing their first whack game ever. I just knew they were going to come out ready to play and, and really excited to play some football. And the Aggies, frankly, haven't looked good in two or three weeks. Um, they seem to be regressing. Honestly, um, I feel absolutely horrible for their head coach, Dwayne Walker. You know, he's a good football coach, just had a bad job. I mean, what else can you possibly say about it, honestly? I mean, they haven't been to a bowl game since 1960. Uh, that doesn't mean clearly not every coach that's come through here since 1960 is a bad football coach. You know, it's the system. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's the process. It's not necessarily the man in charge right now. That would be ignorant to say that. Um, I think we look realistically, he's replaced a handful of coaches through the years here. Some of them were through, through their own discretion. You know, they let go of Dale Lindsay last year as a defensive coordinator. They can't help Doug Martin leaving to Boston College as offensive coordinator. Um, you know, he got way more money and just a better opportunity. And that's going to happen in a program like this. But with that being said, it's hard to hit home runs out of the park every time. And I think the Aggies, from a coaching standpoint, are just suffering right now. Their offense hasn't looked any different since week one. I thought they came out more aggressive this week. You know, they ran a fake punt. They went for it on fourth down um, a time or two. And I definitely give them the nod for that. But really, this team is pretty easy to defend at this point. Quarterback Andrew Manley isn't going to scramble. He doesn't throw short to intermediate. He locks in on the deep ball. They don't run the football. So in other words, they don't have an answer for the blitz. Teams are going to blitz them. When you don't have a screen passing game, when you don't run draws, when you can't run the ball effectively, that's a bad recipe for a drop-back quarterback. I'm not putting everything at Andrew's feet. The offense just is predictable at this point. Defensively, the secondary has struggled all season long. They got beat tonight by the pass against UTSA. I actually like UTSA's quarterback, Sosa. He was a good player. He threw the ball well, ran the ball well. It wasn't bad, um, and I guess that's it. <laughs> I summarized the game. Um, point is that the Aggies aren't good right now. That was a bad game, and really, we just want to see improvement from this point forward. That's what I said last week after the UNM game. We can't judge it right now on wins and losses. We just have to see this team get progressively better. Their schedule does get harder um, when they go to Idaho next week, and then the second half of their season is extremely tough. Folks, thanks for joining me at Teddy Feinberg on Twitter. Check out our Sun News Sports Facebook page. Check us out at lcsun-news.com all day, every day for the latest news, updates, and analysis on Aggie Sports. Later.